Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're doing good this evening. I hope everything is going well. Well, in today's video, it's going to be the second part on how I'm amending my soil where I'm going to plant my potatoes next spring. The first video was the amendments that I put on it to help with the nutrients, uh, you know, the, the food for the plants. This one here is going to be on lowering the pH. Potatoes like a pH of around 6.5. I took a soil test. Uh, I got a video on that. And my pH is about a 7.5. So I want to lower that by one point. So I looked at a lot of different ways of doing it, different uh, things. And one of them was sphangum peat moss. That's a, a pretty well-known thing to lower pH. Sphangum peat moss and clay soil don't, I don't think they uh, get along so well. To put on the amount that I would have to put on, it would actually worsen the characteristics of my clay soil. So I kind of did away with that. And I heard different, you know, I read different things on how effective it was, how long it lasts. Um, another one was coffee grounds. I wanted something natural. I wanted something organic. And so, you know, there was some ups and downs with coffee grounds. One, you need a lot of them. And it would have been really hard to measure out how much I was putting on. So after some research, what I decided on was garden sulfur. And the reason why I did it was one, I know exactly how much I need to put on. Uh, I know pretty much the time it's going to take for it to work. So it, it does... Uh, you know, seem a little bit better choice. Now, I still am a little bit nervous about putting something like that on because I am, a, you know, a hay, a compost, a manure guy. And so, but I'm going to do it. Now, I read up leaves. Leaves will lower your pH, but not for very long, a few weeks. Uh, manure, manure has sulfur in it, but when you use aged manure like what I'm using, it's kind of negligible as to the effects, you know, of lowering your pH. So, like I said, I went with garden sulfur, and I'll show you the bag. Now, if you read that, you know, it says uh, one to one and a half pounds per hundred square foot. Do not overdose. Okay, bef check pH before making a second application. Um, you know, this is, um, I, it says it's organic, and so I believe them, you know. But I just, like I say, I am a little bit hesitant about doing it. I'll show you what they look like. try to anyway okay so what they are they're just little little round pellets and yeah there you can see them really good so one and a half times i've got a, a 20 by 40 area okay so that's 800 square foot so at one and a half pounds I'm not going to go crazy. I'm usually one of them guys, if a little bit's good, a little bit more is even better. But for this, I really am going to watch. So I would use 12 pounds on this here. Now, I bought 25 pounds because I'm going to add some to other spots in my garden. And it was 25 pounds was right at 100 bucks. So that kind of gives you an idea of how much it cost. It come in five pound bags. Uh, like I say, I, I'm, what I really want to do here is, is I want to put it on and, and till it in. I'm not going to till it in real deep. I, I, when I did my research for this, I heard all kinds of different depths. I want to keep it fairly close to the top of the soil. So I'm probably going to go between three and six inches because that's where, you know, my potatoes are going to be. And that's where I want to change that soil. 
So what I did, if you can see behind me, I got a row of leaves here and I got a row of leaves here. Well, I had the, the lawn vacuum out all day Friday. I got more leaves for over there. I got a bunch of leaves. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna till all this in after I put that garden sulfur in. And then uh, I'm gonna put these leaves over it and I'm gonna let them set all through the winter and into spring and then I'm going to till it in again. And then I'll, I'll put my potatoes right on top of that. So uh, that is the game plan. So like I say, guys, the most important thing, the very most important thing before you use a lime or a sulfur or anything like that, guys, get a soil test. It, it, don't don't take advice don't listen to your buddy get a soil test and make sure because if you add garden sulfur or anything like that you're not you're not getting it back out so you're going to be stuck with it now having said that nothing lasts forever that's why i love um using organic soil amendments you know manure and compost and things because if I add too much manure or I add too many leaves, the, the soil is going to balance that out. It's not going to be there forever. Uh, lowering your pH is kind of the same way. It's going to be a little bit harder, but over time, you're going to want to check that pH again and, you know, yearly and, and see if it needs to be raised or lowered. Uh, but guys, just really be careful get a soil test and you know um like i say my potatoes didn't do real good this year they did okay but they've been a lot better in the last few years so um i i hope this helps and i hope this video helps you you know uh, ph is very important because if your ph isn't right your plants won't be able to uptake the nutrients in the soil they might be there, but your plants just won't be able to uh, use them for food. So, guys, I hope that helps. Even though it has cooled down, we had a snow. Um, I'm still, I love it. I'm out here gardening, and, you know, uh, until the ground freezes, I will be out here. All right, well, hey, guys, I hope, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helps. I'll talk to you later. See ya.